Right, so AI is here to stay, whether you like it or not. Chat GPT. Chat GPT. Chat GPT. It's both terrifying and exciting. A large language model trained by OpenAI. And yes, inevitably it will replace some jobs. That is the purpose of technology. But I think what everyone's missing here is that technology also creates jobs. Like when the modern computer was created, I'm sure there was a big outcry against like, oh, the computer's gonna replace like mathematicians, accountants, bank tellers. But what it also did was create this like knowledge work industry where we're now using computers to do all sorts of things that could not have been possible without computers. Whenever there's like a new leap in technology, like there now is with this new chat GPT, there's two types of people. There's type one of people who are afraid of it and who reject it. It's like the people who still refuse to use a computer to this day. And then there are people who embrace the new technology, who learn how to use it and to infuse it with themselves to do new things, which is where these new opportunities are created. And I don't know about you, but I definitely wanna be in the second group. So that is why I decided to use ChatGPT for a week and try to find as many ways as I could of using this new tool to automate not only coding, but my everyday life. And here are the top five ways that I found. First, I wanted to understand how could ChatGPT be used in my everyday coding activities, like building my coding projects. I decided to first give it some simple programs to build and to test its limits. Because I like to be original and like not do what everyone else is doing, I started with a to-do app. <laughs> It took a couple of tries and some going back and forth, but within literally minutes, I was able to get the AI to build me this, which is honestly a pretty impressive starting point for like a serious to-do application. Whatever you wanna build, you can use ChatGPT to essentially give you a very good starting point for your application. For example, for my budgeting application startup, with the help of ChatGPT, I was very quickly able to build this starting point for the UI of the applications which is not pretty, but it's something. And it's always easier to have something like on paper, on the page, and then iterate from it. And it's pretty insane the extent to which I was able to use it to help me write code. Like, look at this, for example. I could give it code and just say, please fix. <laughs> and it would literally fix it for me correctly and even explain to me what I was doing wrong with my original code. You can essentially think of this as a much better and much faster Googling machine. But using ChatGPT with coding was definitely not all I found. So here are four more ways I found to use ChatGPT to automate my everyday life. But before we discuss that, can we just appreciate how insane it is that we now have this, like, this technology and this AI that can literally like be your own personal assistant that's just like there, that's able to solve your problems. And it's further reinforcing the fact that to learn to code today, you really don't have to be that smart. And another example of this is just how easy it is today to build yourself a personal website. There's so many tools and so much technology available to you. And one example of this is today's sponsor hosting us brand new website builder, which literally allows you to build a full website with no coding using this drag and drop interface in like less than one hour. So when you sign up to the hosting and you'll get access to this very intuitive dashboard and you get to this builder where you can just play around. You have designer made templates to start from so you don't need to start from scratch. You can make a blog or an online store. And one of the most annoying parts of creating a website for me usually is making it responsive to different screen sizes. But this one just does it for you automatically. And another thing that I love is that this builder gives you like a full library of royalty free images that you can just use for free on your website to make it look amazing. And the other option they have, which I have personally used for most of my website projects is WordPress, which is very beautifully and seamlessly integrated into the hosting app process. You're gonna need hosting for your website anyway, but unlike other providers with hosting it, you get access to both WordPress and the hosting a website builder for completely free, as well as a free domain, a free professional email inbox, industry standard security features, and much, much more. To get the best pricing, I recommend their 48 months plan. Because I've partnered up with hosting, 
watching here you can also use my code internet Coder at checkout to get your discounts up to 91 percent thank you for hosting here for sponsoring this video so we talked about using ai as your coding assistant but you can actually expand this to use ai as your full personal assistant to essentially ask you any questions that you want and get pretty good answers. So because ChatGPT is like basically Google on steroids, I found that as I was using and getting used to ChatGPT more and more, all questions that I would normally Google I could much more easily just ask from chat GPT and normally I would get answers much faster and the answers would be much better and much more tailored to the exact question I was asking it. And I was pretty amazed at all the things that it would give me, honestly. I was able to use it to get ideas, to find places to rent apartments, to get Christmas present ideas. So while chat GPT might not replace humans, it might just replace Google. Food for thought. But sadly, what I wasn't able to do is arrange a date with it. It was worth a shot. The next thing you can do with ChatGPT is use it as a summarization machine to supercharge your ability to ingest information much, much faster. Pretty much any knowledge that you'd ever want to have that humanity has ever been able to find is available somewhere on the internet. So then the challenge always is, is finding that information and finding the ways to learn the exact skills that you want to learn. So where ChatGPT is really powerful is you can use it to summarize a lot of articles, to summarize books. There are even browser extensions that can allow you to summarize YouTube videos by just giving it the link. And actually, I want some of you, I want one of you to go and use one of these extensions and like summarize this video. And I, I want to see how well it does. Now let's get into the serious stuff. How can AI help you learn faster? And I know we sort of touched on this, but it's basically whenever you want to learn anything, you can... Rather than using Google, you can use ChatGPT. When I learn a language, just ask the bot to explain it to you. When I learn history, just ask any question from the bot. As long as the answer to the question you're asking exists somewhere in the corpus of text that this bot is using to generate these answers, it's probably going to be able to answer your question. It's much faster to ask you from the bot than to like go scour Google from all the different articles to find exactly what you want. Which again, just speeds up the process so much and it's going to be able to ingest information and to learn things like 10x faster. But you do want to be careful because sometimes the summaries are not exactly accurate. So just remember to also use your own brain with this. The last one which is probably the most interesting and definitely the most scary one is using ChatGPT as your personal writer. Let's say you want to write an email to your boss. Just ask ChatGPT to write it for you and he can even write it in the exact style that you want to use. I also used it to write tweet threads and it actually worked. <laughs> Let's say you want to start blogging. Just give the bot a topic and it's going to write you an article about it. Now, what I wouldn't do here is just literally copy the exact thing that the bot gives you. If you're just writing articles that are written word for word by the bot, then because everyone can now do that, that's not going to be something where you can stand out. So to stand out, use what the bot gives you, use it as ideas, and then iterate from it. And you can again use this to start like a blogging website much, much faster than you could ever do it before. And where this can be even more powerful is in copywriting or writing your CV or cover letters. Again, use it as a starting point to get past the blank page stage, then make it more tailored to whatever you want to do. If the previous two things like using it as a teacher and a summarization machine can allow you to ingest information like 10 times faster, this can allow you to output information 10 times faster. And no, I don't think this is fully going to replace humans, but it is going to allow us to use it as a sort of anti-entropy machine to simplify all this sea of information and data that we as a humanity have created to give us the answers that we want much, much faster and to also allow us to use it to do something else, to create output much, much faster. You can either reject AI because you're afraid of it, or you can embrace AI and find ways to use it now to make your life easier easier because AI is here to stay and there's nothing that you can do about it. So that's what I think about AI. I hope some of these five ways give you inspiration. If you want to see my previous video where I discuss in more detail about whether AI can replace coding jobs, I actually gave you some tasks from my actual jobs and saw how it did. You can watch this video here. Many exciting things coming up on this channel in 2023. If you want to see what those are, hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next one.